Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills needed to solve this math word problem, which is the following. Ed has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together they have 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? All right, so this is the problem, but we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is Ed has 10 and his dad has 14. B is Ed has 18 and his dad has 6. C is Ed has 6 and his dad has 18. And D is Ed has 14 and his dad has 10. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take another look at this problem. So Ed has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together they have 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? All right, so the correct answer is B, which of course is Ed has 18 shirts and his dad has six. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely got a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I am confused. Can you help me out? Yes, I can. This is not that difficult. Now, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem. Now, the reason why I didn't say up here, I'm like, hey, solve the algebra word problem. You know, I don't like to start off, um, you know, questions that way because people go, algebra, I don't know algebra, and they get scared of it. But if you can just use your math skills and figure out how to kind of, you know, reason through this, oftentimes you can solve problems, you know, an algebra word problem per se, without using algebra, right? So use whatever math skills you have. And in this particular case, actually, with some common sense and logic, I think most people can figure this out. Now, this is a great problem, too, because it is a multiple choice question. And for those of you that still have to take a test, you know, you can see right here, there are two obvious wrong answers. Now, why is that? Well, Ed has three times as many shirts as his dad. So Ed's going to have more shirts than his dad. So if we look here, like C, for example, Ed has six shirts and his dad has 18. So he clearly doesn't have more shirts than his dad. So we can eliminate uh, that answer right there. And A, Ed has 10 and his dad has 14. So these two answers right off the bat, we can eliminate. So you could take a guess here between these two and you have a 50-50 chance of getting the right answer. Now, if this wasn't a multiple choice question, well, we're simply going to have to know the math. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the actual process here of solving a math word problem. So I'm going to suggest you use something called the rule of three, and that is uh, read the uh, problem at least three times before you start doing anything. Now, it's just been uh, my experience that if you just read a problem one time, you get really excited. You're like, yes, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know how to solve this. And you kind of go off in this direction really quick. And then you'll be like, wait a minute, I think I'm confused. Let me go back and read the problem. And then once you understand the problem better, you go off in this direction and solve the problem. So this can easily happen if you rush the process. And oftentimes, you know, a problem will seem super easy. And even though you know what to do, Get in the habit of slowing down. Let your brain kick in. All right, so once we understand the problem, what we want to do here is kind of think of a model, some sort of way we can represent the uh, situation. So let's go down here and take a look at this. Now, there's all different sorts of ways you can kind of come up with a model, you know, in terms of trying to visualize the problem. But the problem says Ed has three times as many shirts as his dad. Now, I'm going to use algebra again to solve this problem because we have an unknown value, right? But actually, we're trying to solve for two things. We're trying to solve for how many shirts each has. But we can use one variable here to kind of express uh, how many shirts each has. Because if I say, well, let me let X okay, represent the number of shirts the father has, the dad has, 3X, 
three times that, three times as many shirts, is how many shirts Ed has, right? So we'll let X equal the number of shirts um, the dad has, and 3X will equal the number of shirts Ed has. Well, we have two variables here. Actually, we only have one variable, two variable terms, X. But uh, we need an equation to solve for X. So we need to use uh, some other information from the problem. And of course, right here, we can use this part of the problem. Together, they have 24 shirts. So we can construct a lovely little equation here, and that will look like this. All right, so X plus 3X is equal to 24. So X, again, is how many shirts the dad has. 3X is uh, three times as many as the dad, but this is Ed's uh, shirts, and together they have 24 shirts. Okay, so really this comes down to solving this lovely basic algebra equation. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. But uh, before we do, let's get into this. And that is a uh, nice request to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely have two words in my vocabulary. The first is help, right? I don't mind asking for help because I have this other word called a goal, right? And as a math teacher, my goal is to reach as many people as possible. And I need your help to reach that goal. So if you're getting value from this video, well, I'm glad that you are, but I wanna help others as well. And the best way you can support this channel is to hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification. My YouTube channel really is, is all about trying to make math clear and understandable and interesting. And if you need full on math support, full instruction, check out my full main math courses. You can find a link to those in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of content on my YouTube channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is not that difficult. So here is our equation, right? So x plus 3x is equal to 24. So if we can solve for x, well, then we can figure out how many shirts each has. All right, so how do we solve this equation? Well, we have x and 3x. So these uh, two terms right here in front of this x, uh, there is a number, right? There's actually a 1 in front of the x. So 1x is the same thing as x. So when you see like a y or an x, there's actually a 1 in front of it. And a number in front of a variable is called a coefficient. So by itself right there, it isn't uh, maybe obvious for those of you that are a little bit rusty in algebra, but there is a 1 right here. Now x and uh, 3x, these things right here are called like terms, right? They're like, okay? Now, why are they like terms? Because they have the exact variable, right? So this has x, this has x. In other words, if this was x squared and this was x, these would not be like terms. But because they are like terms, we can combine these like terms by adding the coefficients. So one and three is four. All right, so if I have one x here and three x is over here, well, total, I have four x. Okay, so I have four x is equal to 24 to solve this lovely one-step equation, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So 24 divided by 4, of course, is 6. All right, so at this point, we are all happy. We're like, yay, I solved the problem. Well, we have x is equal to 6. We didn't answer the question, right? We have to go back and make sure we answer the question, and that is how many shirts does each have? So we have to go back to our setup. So remember, x, we just solved for it, x is equal to 6. That's the number of shirts uh, the dad has. So the dad has six shirts, and 3x represents the number, number of shirts Ed has. So that's going to be three times what x is. That is six. So three times six is 18. All right. So Ed, again, has three times as many shirts as the dad. So six times three is 18. And if we add these up, we get to 24. Okay. So hopefully this wasn't too difficult of a problem. Again, if you're trying to uh, take on math word problems, especially algebra word problems, what you need to do to avoid looking like this person is just kind of figure out what you know and don't know. Make yourself to list. Well, this is what I know and this is what I don't know. Now, sometimes you don't understand what you don't know, right? So, you know, uh, there's no problem with that. That's why you want, you know, to get help from someone like myself or some uh, someone else. But really learning math is nothing more than you know, a collection of skills, okay? So if you're trying to understand algebra, but you don't understand positive, negative, negative numbers or, you know, fractions, well, you want to kind of go there first and then just improve, right? So it is a process and it does take time. So never, ever give up. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. 
Thank you for your time and have a great day.